Friday, 7th of October. So let's take a look at gold, Euro dollar, Dow Jones, Bitcoin as usual. Now guys, as you know, Fridays are a holiday for me, but I'm still uploading the videos. I'm going to update the website as well. On Fridays you will get videos, but on occasions you won't. So just heads up from before, they're going to start changing the website, hopefully this week coming. All right, so this is gold. Let's take a look at 6th of October first. Now on the 6th of October, I said in the members area, these are the hours I gave, okay? And then we've got market closing here. So I wasn't expecting much to happen around here. Um, but what have I got here? Yesterday, 10.50. Then I got two, 10 past two to 2.30. Got 3.25 to 4.45. Then 11, 11.30. Okay, so those were the astrals and 10 past eight in the morning. <clears throat> so that's gold. Let's take a look at gold first. Now this was yesterday. This is 10 o'clock right there. Now you had 10.50 as you know, and that was a level there. Why was that? Because that was the high of yesterday. Manipulation bar market comes in there and then bang. Okay, exactly at the astro hours. Also 8 o'clock is around here guys. Look, I said 10 past 8 as well. 10 past 8, you're in the purple zone. So selling here was the way to go. And that was the high of yesterday at an astrological hour and the whopping downfall. And then the market just came down right into there. Now, as you know, we also had 325. That is your three o'clock. And that's 325 there, okay? 330 bar there. 325, 445. Market comes down into the purple zone, okay? Around five o'clock. We didn't have anything at five o'clock. We had 445, but this is the five o'clock bar, as you can see. We're in that purple zone, and that's your seven o'clock. We didn't have anything at seven o'clock, but here you should have taken profit in any case, all right? And then here you've got 11 o'clock there. Okay, 10.30, 11 o'clock mark just goes up. So not to worry. In any case, though, you should have covered the trade. If you followed it down, well done. If you re-entered on the pullback, well done. So that kind of stuff is good. Now, you can sharpen these points if you learn technical analysis here at the Global Trader Club. I'll show you how to narrow it down into a smaller time frame and how to nail it when it comes up at an astro hour. Okay, so normally, because I'm doing this in the morning, for example, it's 9 a.m. my time now, okay? So I'm doing this in the morning. By the time you get it, um, you know, in, in, a, in the U.S. maybe you're getting it and the market's already moved. So you're thinking, well, what am I going to do? Well, if I'm going to follow it down, I want to wait for a retracement to come up in order to short it again. So what is that level? Well, that level, you're going to pick it off like that, okay? So you're going to know where it's going to get to if you want to sell it off. And if it does that at an astrological hour, such as 3.15, like yesterday I had 3.25, 4.45, there you go, market moves up into that zone and then bang, push it down, okay? So that's the time and price meeting together. Okay, now today, what about gold today? Now, as you can see, that zone was a sell zone, so we're still in that mode there. I said for gold Thursday or Friday, it's going to be a swing day that definitely was a nice swing down if it pushes up or from these levels the daily pivot is okay to sell let's get rid of this one well let's not get rid of that one let's just push it forward because that's going to be one target okay so the market's already done that as you can see in asia but we can extend this as well okay into this zone all right so if so it's sellable from the daily pivot if it comes up there we can follow this further down okay if it goes back up into this purple zone you can definitely sell again a good level is the 64 level 1731 it's a PST level but it is a bit high isn't it 1731 now it's going to be way high if it does it though keep it in mind 1731 okay so up here let's get rid of these okay um it's a bit too far out but whatever so we want to sell this down as you can see we've got a breakdown targets are going to be around 48 49 49 there just 1684 86 so let's mark 1684 86 down here all right 
so the market's got room to come down 84 86 there okay so this zone is a target zone for us sellable at astro hours at the pivot here I can also move this forward into what zone um, yeah we can do this the daily pivot zone is good okay this is good to sell at astro hours here you can also sell oh that's a bit tricky let's just do this this zone is also okay you know what here I'm going to take the wick too okay there you go all right so sellable sellable kind of levels at astro hours to push down obviously don't you be selling around the purple zones here because that's where support is let's take a look at the euro dollar now with the euro dollar same kind of thing let's do this okay so this is a 15 minute chart on the euro dollar yesterday was the sixth as you can see that is 845 there if you missed the 845 that's your 1045 there so we had 1050 remember so 1045 bar and then the market just sizzles down because we're still at the tops here going nicely all the way down okay so let's get rid of this now let's get rid of these where could you sell this off well it looks like it's already done it there but let's take a look at the daily um, <clears throat> now I said we'd come back into that zone all right so we already have 9750 on the cards if it goes up into 98 34 98 30 that's your daily pivot there if it comes up into here this is not a bad place to sell today and that's your zone let me just check there all right so that's your zone I'm going to head up there bang it down all right if it gets up there uh, if it doesn't go up there and starts crashing down you know stuff happen but there you go um, and on the weekly as you can see it's right there on our line actually there you go it's right on our line there Um, so where can we come down to maybe down to 27 96 44 96 44 is a bit too far down we'll just keep the weekly in mind at the moment if it comes down and then goes up in the US you can also think about selling at astro hours in this zone here all right um, and today yeah, today lunchtime is what you got to be looking out for. Okay. Also, the morning was nice to look out for. If you learned astrology from me, you could have, you would have taken um, this morning into account the eight o'clock bar for sure. You would have taken into account where is the eight o'clock bar? Seven forty-five, eight, eight thirty. That's your eight thirty there. Okay. So yeah, there you go. But I'm going to give you the times anyway. So that's euro dollar there, okay? Um, US 30. US 30 is, as you can see there, yesterday. Okay, that's your morning, 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 morning. And that's your nine o'clock there. So we had 10 past eight there. That was your 10 past eight bar there yesterday on the 6th. And then the market coming down into your one o'clock, all right? We didn't have anything at one, but we had two o'clock. You see, two o'clock is still there. So 10 past two, 2.30, market goes up, comes to the white line, nice and easy. It's at four o'clock. So it's between, it's in that range. And at four o'clock, the market pushes down into nine o'clock there. We didn't have anything at nine o'clock, but it ended the night there at 11 o'clock. Okay. So Dow Jones, let's see what's going on with this one that's the support level as you can see today resistance is going to be 51 let's check it out 33 5, 3. 30 
353 is there. So if the market comes up into this zone, once again, sellable at an astro hour in this zone. Okay, that's on the daily. On the weekly, you've already done that one. So a bit of a pullback is in order. If it does so next week, it'll be good for us. Um, where could it come down to? We'll see next week. Maybe we'll have a bit of a touchdown as well and see how we go. Okay, so what can you do in the interim? Well, in the interim, what you can do is this zone is going to be a sell zone at Astro Hours. If the market breaks below this, then pushes up at an Astro Hour, you can sell, right? Don't sell here. It's a support and it's nine o'clock now and I've got a Astro Hour at 8.30. So the only time you're going to sell this is if it goes up to the daily pivot or up here at an Astro Hour and push down. Okay. Bitcoin. Let's take a look at that. Now, Bitcoin, as you can see, once again, marks those levels, pushes down. So what do we want to do with Bitcoin? From the top levels here, the, these levels are good to sell, as you can see. Yes, they also reach down and then push down. So selling is an option there. It was right on that line there. As you know why I can't move this, I got no idea. Let's do this. Never mind. Okay, so that's that. So if I just shrink this up a little bit, okay. So we still may have a bit of a crash down here into this zone. If it does, something you want to make use of. All right. Okay. Um, so what can you do? Sell at the tops again at these levels. So just make sure you draw your lines like I have. Today 63, 20,500, 20,500 is going to be there. Okay. So this zone that's going to be a sell zone if it gets up there. If it breaks below the low of yesterday or the day before yesterday, okay, then we're probably coming down here again. Okay. Um, 